Today I'm going to explain a little bit more about softer water. With a lot of the aquarium fish nowadays there's a lot that do have a preference to soft water. Uh, these sort of fish will be like um, discus, L number catfish, angels, tetras, barbs. Uh, there's a lot of fish that do have a preference towards the softer water. One of the problems that you generally have with this if you want softer water and the town water that you current re currently receive is harder you need to be able to soften it. One of the methods that you can use to soften the water is use what they call an ion exchange. How the ion exchange works is uh, it works with a, a resin and as the water passes through the resin it exchanges ions where it takes the calcium and it binds to the resin so that way the calcium isn't in the water it's actually applied to the resin. Now there's three here that I have here at the moment the, it's the Macropore Synthetic Polymer Resin now Macropore this particular one comes in three different sizes you have the 350ml the 600ml and also the 2 litres now if, you, if we get a bit of a look at the resin you can see it, it's basically about the size of grains of sand. Now obviously you can't let that go floating around within your tank so what they generally suggest is to use like basically a media bag. Now these media bags some some particular brands actually um, have them up around the 15 to 19 dollar mark. This one we actually give away one bag with each particular unit so all you do is depending on which one you get you'd empty the contents within the filter bag so 350 easily fits in the bag same with the 600 mil easily fits in the bag when it comes to the 2 litre you may want to have two or three bags for that particular one the bag itself it's I don't know if you can actually see it, it's basically very very fine which allows the water to pass through and be able to run through the actual resin so that it can exchange it to soften the water. Now with the resin it can be recharged so when you purchase a product like this it means that you actually when the iron actually gets full with the resin you can recharge it and use it over and over again. A lot of people ask what sort of size to get usually I suggest to people to get twice as much as what they actually need because if you're using it in something like a canister filter what will happen is that you'll go to clean out the canister you'll remove the bag that has the iron exchange resin in it and it takes about 24 hours to do that so rather than going okay well I'll take it out of the canister and then the next day take apart the canister and put it back in if you have two lots then you just cycle it so as one goes out you put the next one in and recharge it and continually do this over time the more resin that you use the less that you need to recharge it so that's where if you get the larger quantities it just simply means that by putting more in you don't have to recharge it as often so it just makes it a little bit simpler to use so when it comes to, to purchasing if you get the, the larger ones then it just means that you don't have to recharge it as often I hope this helps explain the iron exchange with the micropore uh, the, the micropore that I have here it also removes hydrated lime hydrated lime isn't something that you want in your tank either Thank you and um, by all means uh, you'll be able to see this on my website and uh, if you have any questions just post it below. Thank you.